Assalamu alaikum class. Today we are going for the next lecture. From lecture 2 we have learned the format text. In format text we have started the paragraph setting, paragraph formatting. And in paragraph formatting we have done with the alignment, paragraph alignment. So today we are moving towards the next topic that is indentation, paragraph indentation. So to continue with the paragraph indentation, we have to define what is paragraph indentation or indent paragraphs. This option of MS Word from Home tab paragraph group. This option allows us to set the text within a paragraph at different margins. MS Word provides four types of paragraph indentations, that is first line indent, hanging indent, right indent, and left indent. From this figure, we can see that these different indentations are also present at the Word document ruler. Here you can see this is your first line indent marker, which is present at the ruler, then left indent marker, and with the combination of first line indent and left indent we get the hanging indent. Then comes your right indent, which is at the right side of your ruler. This is all about your figure demonstration. Let's see in MS Word document where we will get these indentations. So here you can see that in MS Word we have the indentation markers or indent markers at the ruler of MS Word document window. In this, you can see that these two triangles are opposing each other. The top triangle, it will gives us the option to apply the first line indent on the selected paragraph. So, in order to apply the option, first we have to select the paragraph on which we want to apply the option of first line indent. So, here I have selected the paragraph. Now, applying the first line indent and you can see that the paragraph first line will be indented at the selected measurement. At one centimeter, the paragraph first line is indented over here, whereas the rest of the lines are at left indent as by default. So here you can see that only the first line is indented at one centimeter right. So this is first line indent. Then comes the left. By default, our paragraphs are already at left indent where the first line indent passes the left indent. But in this combination, we get hanging indent. Hanging indent, when we move the first line indent and left indent, with the same click, single click, left click. Mouse cursor should be at the hanging indent and then press the left click of mouse and drag at the point where you want the hanging of your selected paragraph. Oops. 
what should we do to apply the hanging indents? So to apply the hanging indents, we actually place the mouse cursor at this square of your left indent and then press left click of mouse and drag. Now you can see your hanging indent is applied on the paragraph. Okay, the last intent that is right intent. So for that, here we have the right intent marker at the ruler and to apply this option, we will first select the paragraph and then use this marker to move the selected text towards left means on the right indent is controlled on all the lines of paragraphs the selected paragraph so selected paragraph move towards left leaving the right indent so with right indent we can control all the lines of selected paragraph from right side these options we can get from paragraph dialog box launcher when we click at the dialog box launcher of paragraph paragraph group from home tab and here you can see the indentation tab in this dialog box in this dialog box in this dialog box we have two tabs indent and spacing line and page break in first tab we have general section indentation spacing which we will cover in next lecture whereas alignment is already covered in the previous lecture that from here we can apply the different alignments on the selected paragraph whereas the current that is hanging first line hanging first line indentation or hanging we can apply to this option of indentation and we can also give a points measurement with these before text and after text boxes whereas with this by option we can also specify the measurements for indentation here in this paragraph group you can see that we have the increase and decrease indent buttons we can apply these indentations with this indentation increase indent button will move the selected paragraph away from the margin here you can see that paragraph is going to move from the left margin with decrease it again moves back to the left margin so these two buttons are increase and decrease indent buttons in paragraph group after the indentation we have the next option that is adding borders borders and shading adding borders and shading allows the users to add the borders and shading to the paragraph or entire page from where we will get this option this is also present in paragraph group of home tab 
here you can see that this is the borders option with this drop down arrow when we click on it the selected paragraph on selected paragraph we can apply these different types of borders top bottom border top border left right none border if we have applied and we want to remove it then we will select the no border and then comes the all borders outside inside these are different types of borders that we can apply and the further detailed options for the borders and shading we will get from this last option of borders drop down arrow option list with this dialog box we can add more detailed tag borders and shading options here we can see that we have three tabs these are the borders patch borders and shading in order to apply the borders just on the selected paragraph we will use this first tab that here we can see that if you don't want to apply any paragraph then none otherwise if you want to apply the box here it comes and in preview you can see that your selected paragraph will be in this way four sided boundary area border will be applied then your border may have shadow 3d or other related types here you can apply different lines on your line styles on your border and here you can select the color for your border that you are going to apply on the selected paragraph and then you can select the line width for your border and this comes apply to option in border and shading dialog box here you can select that where you can apply where actually we have selected the paragraph so that's why your apply to option gives you only the option of paragraph so click ok and now you can see that our first line where the cursor was it was taken as a paragraph and the option of border is applied over here and you can apply on a paragraph with the same option click at the borders click at outside border and here you can see that border is added and if you want to format the border line style colors the same procedure you can follow up then comes the shading option shading is actually changing the color behind the selected text or paragraph or a table or a cell this is especially useful when you want to uh, want the information to jump off the page means you want to prominent your information over the document then we will select the shading option so with shading option when we click at this drop down arrow we will get the theme color palette and standard color palette or more colors we can apply so from here if you want the theme any theme color you can select over here otherwise standard colors you can select the standard colors and here you can in preview you can see that where these colors are applied on the selected text so you can see that the selected text is in front whereas the background background color or shading is applied on the back of your selected text or paragraph so in this way we have covered today indentation then borders and shading last option then comes over here that is line spacing in line spacing here comes we are changing the spacing between paragraphs and lines this is option in paragraph group of home tab from this line spacing line and paragraph spacing you can click at the drop down arrow and you will get the standard paragraph line spacing option that you can apply otherwise go to the line spacing dialog box and from here you can apply these spacing options by default line spacing is maybe at single 1.5 double at least exactly or you can apply it by your own choice with before and after setting you can give the measurements so in this way in this lecture we have covered about the paragraph formatting in paragraph formatting we have done with indent paragraphs all the indents we have applied then comes borders and shading and 